And we're back in Endless Legend, and I may have cut that recording in just the right spot for Pink to only be heard coming in. Sounds good! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, during the break, we both decided that we would be attempting to end the lives of the cultists. Mm-hmm. It was a, it was a mutual discussion, uh, mutual decision, rather, that we came to. Just really benefits everybody. And their grandmothers. So yeah. really, we're doing this for you, dear viewer, and your grandmother. It needs to be done. My grandma hates the cultists. Actually, both my grandmas probably would have joined the cult if they had the opportunity, but nonetheless. <laughs> Curse you, work and lice. Get off my property. That's a lot of dead militiamen. Anyways. <laughs> Oh no, the cult has closed their borders with me. Anyways. <laughs> They're sending their navy into my lands, and I don't know what to do about that. It doesn't seem great. Let's not get too crazy here. I'm going to stick with tier 3 iron. It gives the most most basic of bonuses, but that's all I need. At the same time, these glastial greaves here give me a lot of defense. It's only a uh, six glass steel, but I don't make a lot of glass steel because I've only got two glass steel depositories or extractors because I've only got two glass steel on my entire continent. Thanks, game. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I think I'm sitting on two over here as well. Yeah. If I had to spare research, I'd look into getting it where I could uh, integrate a second minor faction, assimilate a second minor faction, but... Well, no, even then, I'd, if I integrated the Dorgeshi, the Dorgeshi only increased the amount of luxuries. Yeah. Let's apply all of that. That's on the Predator. I don't need to upgrade my assassins because why would I build assassins? Like the worst. All Rendered right. quite obsolete by the mists. Yeah, I'm not quite at that point myself here. No, we don't. We need to buy some more people. Build more babies out of money. Such is the way of life of our people. Yeah, boy. Welcome into this world, my child. Here's a handful of dirt. I'm going to be sucking on a candy cane because we're coming up soon on the Christmas season. <clears throat> Which may date this recording. It might just date it just a little bit, but you never know. It might come out before next year's Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you that the Endless Legends we've recorded so far have already been put into 2024, so... <laughs> uh-huh. To be honest, old Kazar here may be the secret to beating them. Just launch him at them <laughs> in a cannon. <laughs> like the fucking bit from Monty Python when they shoot the cow at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. 
I'm going to want to get a settler up so I can take up that land that Kazar's getting moved off of, but... Yeah. Alright, let's build some mists. And then, uh... Should be good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to amass a pretty sizable army. I'm going to go... Hmm, what's the best course of action? Because I've got... I'm cut off by this massive sea that I'm scared to cross. Because of their navy. They've got quite a sizable navy. Two. Two. Hmm. What can I do about that? I have Intertech your five. Or no, four. Four, excuse me. Nice. I might get started on a small but sizable navy of my own. Take out some of these bastions out here. And that will hopefully clear me a decent enough path to be able to cross the waters without being spotted immediately. But we'll see. I think I'm going to set sail from the uh, back tail end of Tyrion here over to, what is that, Pyrian? And then move up through Fritter into Edina. Then... Oh my god, the Fomorian fortresses were 100% built just to isolate him from you. Looks like it. Good lord. Okay, well I'm moving an army from T-800 to Yerunaqua. Yerunqua. Which it should not be in a position where it should be afraid of their navy. I don't know if I'll be able to hit any of their uh, converted villages before I get in there. Ideally, I'll probably want a second army just in case their converted villages are like, you know, six Kazanji. Yeah. Because that would suck. I haven't researched any of the uh, naval units, though. That sucks. Sucks just a wee bit. I could spend 1,696 gold to uh, research the artillery ship. I don't know that I want to do that, but I'll consider it. Well, the artillery ship is specifically really good for attacking land units from the sea. Oh, well, that's no good. I think that's the case. How much does the prior fire ship cost? Do, 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 do. To research that, it would only be 1426 Is that really worth it? Probably not. Might be better to just spend the extra money and get a better ship in theory. I am researching, oh, the, I am researching the ability to search ruins twice. Sweet! Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, choking on water over here. It happens. It happens. I'm going to have to keep an eye out. They are moving their navy to intercept me, so that's not great.
I'm going to have a second army going soon. It's going to have to take a while to get transit down there, though. Yeah. Don't mind me, wild tetiques. I'm just passing through. Urkin lice yet again, here to pillage my shit. That's nice of them. I am trapped in an eternal cycle of getting my shit pillaged by Urkin lice. Doesn't sound too fun, but, you know, you never know. I've not personally tried it yet. Oh, I'm, I'm sure good. you will at some point. <laughs> Excellent. There we go. All right. Oh, oh! The wall tactics are attacking me. What the fuck? That wasn't nice of them. Uh, Auto resolve says it's fifty-fifty. I guess I'm gonna play it. I'm going to assume these guys have 8,000 range. No, two. That's not bad. They do have free counter, though, and free counter sucks. All right, let's see. Who has the higher initiative here? 31. 23. Oh, that's garbage. 51. Yeah, they have by far the, the leading in initiative. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Everybody just shoot at my guys. Yep. There we go. At the very least, though, I can give my troops the suck. Ooh. That's exciting. It is. Oh boy, they deal a lot of damage and they have free counter. Fuck me. That's not great. No, it's really not. They may be carrying crossbows, but in melee, they apparently mean fucking business. Yeah, I'm gonna end up losing that unit of stalwarts just to a bunch of fucking minor factions. Amazing. Since they have free counter, they can effectively attack twice per turn. Boy, the automatic orders the game gives you at the start of a turn does not understand how to focus fire. Yeah. 
Like, you'd really think, okay, tear down this one un wounded unit and make sure it fucking dies. Wait, we might wind up surviving this, unless the free counter kills me. It did not kill me. I think I'm going to win this without any casualties. Oh, man. That would be quite convenient. Okay, yeah, no casualties. Excellent. Oh, boy. All right. It's a good day. Let's heal our asses. There we go. Let's get on the move. Where to, I don't know. I love that there's one village the cultists did not convert, and it still chose to attack me. Fuck's sakes. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna have to... Make this the crossing point, I suppose. Since it's the quickest way to get by their navy. School Buh! Tin Hyperium? <laughs> Ooh! Not bad! Nice. I've not gotten any Hyperium just yet. Not too shabby. It occurs to me that all the resources are in the water. Literally. Oh my god, you're right. This sucks. That's actually what happened. The map loaded with no land resources. It's just all on the water. And the cultists took all of it. This sucks. This is bad. We may be in a wee bit of trouble here. I do believe so. On the bright side, I figured out what cargo docks are. Nice. Yes, very nice. I will. They will print me money and production. And I need both of those things. Production, <laughs> production especially. I have defeated White Walter. He had to go. Alright, just start building a shit ton of cavalry. I just need to get to the front lines as soon as fucking possible. If you're on foot, just don't go. Your help is not needed. Stay your asses at home. <laughs> Which, I need to put in a dock here also to increase my output of bullshit. With the amount of cargo docks I'm putting in, I'm going to be generating some nice trade. And now that, actually, come to think of it, now that I've got cargo docks, let me go ahead and ring you up. Let's see. I want a commercial agreement, a research agreement, and a vision and map exchange. I get no benefits from the research agreement, so I'm not sure if you will as well, but fair enough. Yeah. It's, I think it's really just to help me. <laughs> oh hey, I know what Sirotin are I know what Magte are, I know what Sisters of Mercy are I know what Delvers are Oh boy, you've explored a lot more than me Scuba Oh, these guys haven't moved yet. I was confused for a second there. All right, there we go. Ooh. 
What? Lovely. Well, it's a good thing I stopped using mi minerals. Right? It's not like I had any anyway. Oh, excellent. So now we're going to spend eight Palladian every time we search a re ruin, regardless of our consent. Nice. What the fuck? All right, well, I've got soon to be three armies on their landmass. There it is. There's that pearl I was looking for. I'll take that. Can we put a cargo docks here? That sounds wise. Hmm, no, let's first expand outward with a burrow. Boop, like so. Expand outwards. We will rush that shit so we can put in a cargo docks next turn. Some coastal provinces really seem like they're built just to not have co have cargo docks. Like, there's two excellent prime spots. One has a village on it, one, the other has a ruin on it. Yeah. The Draken are sitting there like, aces! And everybody else is just not interested at all. <laughs> Oh, winter! It's here! This is inconveniently timed. Yes, indeed. Hero unassigned. Well, that's about to change. It's winter, and now I get to infiltrate for free! Yay! Pretty nice. Very nice. Unfortunately, I need to get close enough to the cultists to actually see the city to, to infiltrate them, but it'll it'll happen eventually. Have faith! Faith! Hang, hang on. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. Have some goddamn faith! There we go. <laughs> oh, I picked up the Nuere item. That's an accessory you can put on any hero general, and he'll uh, make the he'll be invisible. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, stealing a page out of your playbook. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we can put in a cargo docks and get the production benefits. So let's do that, and... 70 turns or a thousand dust. I know what I'm paying. <laughs> All right. Oh, I need to research something. Damn it. I would research stockpiles, but I don't have the time. Yeah, let's go back and get these couple buildings. Hmm. All right. What is that, and why do I have sights of it? 
Why is it I can see the, the see this Morgar hero that they've got hired? I don't know. Also, by the way, of course, the cultists have hired a Morgar hero to lead their armies. Why wouldn't they? Right. Oh, I think you can see them because you might have vision on my units as well. But at the same time, my units are invisible, so you can't actually see the unit. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was, I was very confused. Like, is this a spy thing? Has he got a spy in their city? Like, <laughs> It's kind of a spy thing. Oh, man, with that research, I can now scuba twice. Unbelievable. That is far too much scuba. Double scuba. I got 120 dust. The winter has really slowed my army's advance. I gotta say. It happens to the best of us. I swear this ordinarily doesn't happen to me. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Yes. I can work with this. Might pay the rest of that. Might what might let some production go on that rider and then we'll pay the rest out of pocket with dust. Ooh. Good spot for uh, cargo docks here. So I'll put it in. Excellent. Very I'm also going to take that strategic resource bullshitter, the, the strategic intensifier. There we go. And I can use it here in Zenyatta. Strategic intensifier. <laughs> yeah. Not too shabby. I'll rush that as well. It'll, like, double the amount of city my... The amount of city my science produces. Yes! <laughs> boy, the winter always seems to be inconveniently timed, huh? That's a fact, boyo. It's never the turns where you're just sitting, waiting for stuff to happen, you know? Yep. Okay, we got a stalwart here. Let's do another two. And uh, where's that stalwart I have sitting around somewhere? Doing nothing. You, get over here. You've been drafted. Well, might as well steal from his goody huts, while, the cult's goody huts while I'm here. Why not? Oh, holy crap, they built a uh, extractor. I can go pillage it. You've been waiting the whole game for this. <laughs> My time has come. They have so many pearls that I can just steal. Two hundred and twenty dust. Got a fair amount of pearls pop up in my empire as well. I oh. like it. Two hundred and twenty dust in one ruin, by the way. I like it. Yeah, that uh, that uh, dig through a ruins twice tech is actually pretty good. Yeah. If you have the units to actually go digging through people's trash. I, by the time I am done, there will be cavalry overflowing their countryside. And all will be right in the world. Oh, wait, that's not an extractor. That's a, uh, that's a titan being constructed right now. That's not great. That's not great. No, not at all. That's, that's in fact quite bad. White. Uh, so I think the I think the lesson to learn today was 
Someone should probably contest the AI for control of the seas. Probably. I didn't know how powerful the seas would be, though. No, uh, wait, we figured it out kind of last time. But still, I didn't figure you could really dominate it this early and get such generous rewards for it. Had I known that's where all the resources would be, would have been, the seas would have been the first place I would have gone. Yeah, if I, it, merely if there was a, like a map preset, dry land, wet ocean or something like that, bountiful ocean, then uh, with different choices would have been made. <laughs> Uh, hang on, give me a minute, I'm looting. Not a problem. Uh, so how long is this winter going to last? I'm building very inelegant armies here. <laughs> I'm planning on somewhat just overwhelming them with numbers. That's my plan as well. We're doing the Russia play, play style. Yeah. My dust seems to be going down every turn, by the way. Understandable. Though that may have something to do with the amount of armies I am building. Or the fact that it is winter. Wait, I've had this city for how long and still got a population of two? What the fuck have I been doing? <laughs> I probably should take some time to do something about this. Uh, well, yeah, let's buy two extra pops. Matter of fact, let's buy four extra pops. And then we'll put in some burrows. Oh, Empire Plan. Uh, how much influence do I even have? Oh, not enough to afford what I was doing before. All right. Okay, how much progress can we even make it into his land here? Not very much. We are trudging our asses through the blizzard here. It is ridiculous. <laughs> As a great American dream would have said, Odd time, daddy. <laughs> Big pearls. Oh, I'm not researching anything. Son of a bitch. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, there we go, and we've got right there a level 2 har uh, cargo docks generating 20 production. Not too fucking shabby. Need to start throwing around dust to make some more dust here. Let's see. Got 11 pops working dust in this town. Let's upgrade that with a dust depot. Dust depository. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, this should work out quite nicely. Good lord, is, is one army crossed the continent in summer in two turns. The other two armies 
in winter have taken a dozen turns to cross the same fucking continent. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Just, just a tad. Just a tad bit ridiculous here. Is snow really that much of a problem, boys? We heard her... Okay, we've got some stalwarts here. Get some dust bishops a rolling. So we've got some dudes healing from the back lines. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. We may want to look into an abbey at some point. Oh, an abbey. There you go. And we'll go ahead and rush that. Boom. Not too shabby. See over here, we're coming pretty close to getting this cavalry army up and ready. We could put in a strategic intensifier. Yeah, we'll do that. And we'll rush it so we get more science. I need more science. My people are stupid. <laughs> Kapaku want peace and 88 titanium. I'll take that. The 88 titanium is not generous, but I'll have that over having to worry about them. Yeah. Oh, this ruin has made it where I get to choose between fighting a Hern... Oh, it summoned a Harness army and a Tetik army. Fucking thanks. Oh, that was nice. Excellent. On my capital, by the way. That's nice. Love when that happens. Why, game? Scoopa. Oh, the Scoopa gave nothing. The Scoopa did nothing. That's terrible. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? Oh, finally, my three my three infantry armies have met up. Ugh. Okay. Uh oh. Yep, that's our guardian right there. Oh boy! Well, this ought to be interesting. Oh, they're definitely mobilizing an army to come after me, aren't they? Possibly. They're they're building more navy right now. A fucking course they are. <laughs> all right, evasive maneuver. I think we found some in uh, land units, but when it comes to navy, I think we're all a bit outmatched, outgunned. Okay, I can just shell out for heroes, can't I? Oh, I'm just short on heroes, just short. Oh, you're kidding me. All right, fuck it, sail around. I'll take less time here in this winter. The win the unending winter of eternal slowness. Yeah. I don't have any kind of military... For Wait, hang on. Okay, I can get together a force of riders to try and deal with these harness that the game so generously de deposited into my lap. It's so nice of them. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put a hero on one of these armies, because... Not only because the heroes are helpful, but just because I don't need to worry about transit times with them. Boy, now I look at it, my cities are still astoundingly underpopulated, but I've had to spend all my money on other bullshit. <laughs> We're spending a lot of money just on a hero here. Uh-oh. Okay, well, it begins. Winter is over. Ah, whoa, whoa! What the f- Whoa, oh, oh! 
Oh god damn it. They moved fast the AI of course clicked faster than me. Why did why wouldn't why wouldn't they? But uh yeah. Yeah, three armies of mine versus their titan, their centaurs, their... Five tetikes! Okay, can I cheese and hire an, a hero? No, I can't. Fuck, okay. This just has to be done. Okay, this may be a long battle. This is gonna suck! Yeah! <laughs> I hope you have a serious military force in the waiting to deal with these guys, because I'm pretty sure my army... I do my not. I'm still oh. constructing one. Okay, because my army, I'm pretty sure, is going to get stomped. We can try, God bless us. We're going to need the power of God and anime to do this. <laughs> That's a lot of tetikes. Okay, this is gonna be a fuck. Can you see this? We're being attacked by the god of money! Yeah. Oh, we did nothing in defense. Well, that sucks. Oh, they're... Right, cavalry, so they can just run around my dudes and hit my uh, more vulnerable guys in the back, naturally. And a part of my units are covering up the reinforcement point. Oh. Well, I've oh. already mismanaged this. Oh, and those guys have sweep attack. That's cool. And there was no one to benefit from that life suck. Okay, at least that life suck helped. I'd say that things were going so well, but they never were for me. Well, at least we've got one reinforcement point uncovered. Okay, this is already a mess. Let's at least tell our units to just fucking move. Okay, and make sure to give them the hold ground order so that they won't just disregard what I say in favor of whatever the fuck they feel like. Okay, let's go. Please be merciful, god of money! <laughs> oh. Well, that cavalry's inconveniently placed. No, Tetix, excellent. I forgot about you boys. This is gonna be a long fucking battle. Oh boy. Right, that's more broken lords going to heaven. <laughs> yeah, they just have all the movement advantage here. They get to go wherever they please. Yeah, I can see that. Like, there's no real point for me having a formation of any kind, because they can just fly into the holes. Why are my dudes attacking my dudes? Well, we're not getting absolutely violated here. We're at least taking some... We're taking some of them, but... The fact they've covered up my reinforcement points has very severely limited my options here. There's not a lot I can do. I will say the, the Titan has done remarkably little in this affair. He's just chilling. Why does he make my... What's that garlic effect he's applying to the units? Good question. I don't know.
Tetalikes are so strong. What the fuck? Yeah, this is going to be the real problem. Like, the, the centaurs and the arpujas we could live with. The bird people we could live with. But we're probably just going to get shot to death. Yeah. Also, everything has higher initiative than Broken Lord's units. It's kind of ridiculous. And every time that I've ordered my... Uh, my uh, soul suck dudes to move. One of their units has specifically moved into the spot where I told them to move, so they don't move. So, so oh, the reinforcement oh. point is just permanently covered. Yeah. And like the units will think for themselves only in so much as they will attack at random and ignore your orders, but they won't be able to think for themselves in that capacity at all. <laughs> Yeah. Stop throwing onions at me. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Morgar hero is uh, still present. He's not very good, though. I've also noticed that if uh, my wizards get attacked, they don't get to use their soul suck to heal teammates. Which is cool. I like that. Mm, Effectively yeah. making them just a shitty unit. That wizard never gets to move, does he? No, he just dies. Well, now that reinforcement point's open. The AI has consistently moved in place, moved into all the spots I've told my units to move so that the reinforcement points are never open. Why am I attacking my own units? Is that what the garlic wizard does? Maybe. Oh, hey, that was some nice life steal, at least. Thank God. Uh, I wish this cavalry had anti-ranged. It doesn't. Okay, let's tell this guy to just get somewhere fucking else. Let's just tell him to move. Actually, this is a terrible spot for me to fight because there's this cliff in the way. Whatever. Everything about this... This, this was rigged from the start. <laughs> We've managed to kill their centaurs and, like, a bird dude. But other than that, this has been a complete victory for them. Just damage every single unit on the field. Well, at least the cavalry does good damage. At least I was able to see that. Okay, Jesus Christ. Is it just me? Do units not move if they've been attacked? I'm wondering if that's the case. Because my units have such low initiative, they're never going to get to move in that case. Mmm. Like, I'm pretty well just stuck with whatever formation I have, I think. There really should be an auto-resolve the rest of the battle button. Yeah. Like, this is not- this is- I'm not getting any more kills. What I do is completely irrelevant at this point. Uh, 
Ah, God bless you, you two random swordsmen. About to get <laughs> killed by Tetaik uh, counterattacks. Okay, so what I've observed is, let's not build any ranged units. They have all the movement speed in the world. They can just hit you in the ass. They don't care. Thank God I'm broken, Lord, so I can just heal. Alright, let's get away from the Tetik village so it can't reinforce anymore. Yeah, all cavalry armies might be the wise idea here, especially with the sheer amount of Tetiks they're probably building. Oh, fuck, that was certainly a fight and a half. <laughs> If I have nothing else, though, I at least have scuba. Scuba is forever. <laughs> okay, Where's my man. next quest? I forgot. Faction quest. I need a total of 30 technologies from era 1 to era 3. I've got 26... I need four more. Time to spend some money. Yep. Excuse me. Well, I progressed to the next era. That's cool. Oh, fuck. I had intentionally made an army of riders there to deal with the harness and the tattoo. Ah, yeah, whatever. Fuck it. Getting pretty fucking sick of tactics here. I believe it, pal. Well, I got some pixie blood and Durandara. Very nice. All my militias leveled up <coughs> this turn. Oh, excuse me. All this list didn't sort it properly. It could have been perfect. We could have had Hungry Like the Wolf in proper succession. But no, now it's Wolf Like the Hungry. Wolf Like the Hungry? <laughs> <laughs> that still almost kind of works in a sense. <laughs> If I'm hungry, I'm probably going to wolf quite a bit down. <laughs> Alright, time to beat some harness ass. Oh, goodbye, your harness. They're dead. Good deal, good deal. I got 30 moon leaf and an item. The game won't tell me what item I got. But I got one. You certainly got an item, though. You're damn straight. Hmm. Yeah, I need to actually hire a hero, come to think of it. All right, can we get a cavalry hero? Someone with decent moves. Hang on. Let's see, what's the moves on these guys? Eight. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to take any heroes that match that, but nonetheless... Oh, actually, this roving clan's hero would work. Screw it, I'll take him. Necrosabon. And for his equipment, let's give him something that doesn't suck. The tier 3 iron gear will have to work. There we go. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, do you have eyeballs on any of their forces? The uh, cultists? No. My uh, last remaining spy in their sector was eaten alive. Quite tragic. Oh, so that's how they do things there. Yes. Alright, well, I'm sending oh, out... Crap. They've got a defense of 351. I was wondering. They are effectively turtling, which is not great. No. I'm beginning to think that we are in serious fucking trouble here. Same. I don't want to be here anymore. Mom, come pick me up. <laughs> Oh, hello, Chaka. I'm glad you finally moved from my backyard. At the very least, you can annoy... Oh, wait, who am I kidding? You're going to go in their backyard only to still spawn orc and license in them after me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not good. What the fuck? Oh, oh, God. Thanks, game. Uh, can we... What the... Get, get on the fucking land, assholes. There we go. I love that. They just spawned Shocker right in front of them. Guardian walks up, tames him, tames him immediately. Just adding more to our issues. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, right, how much would it work, would it cost to get the Kapaku to declare war on the cultists? And it's like, I put it in there, it is Omega positive. He is like, he is like, I've been waiting years for someone to ask me to declare war on the cultists. <laughs> oh, no, wait, hang on, I've got that the other way around. Uh... Hang on. Wait. Are they already... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, what do they think of... Hang on, I might have been reading that wrong. What is this? Oh, they're already at war with the cultists. Okay. They were super positive because they think thought I was offering to declare war on them. <laughs> the Kapaku have been at war with the cult for how long? Good question. Anyways, we're up shit creek without a paddle here. I know me and the Paku, blah, me and the Kapaku have shared vision, so he knows where the capital is. It's just a matter of if he's actually going to bother sending any units that way. I don't think he will. The AI in this game seems... Civilization type of AIs. Yeah, we'll go to war and do nothing about it. We're with We're you in just... spirit, pal. Yeah. Like, especially for it to be the Kapaku. Like, the cultists and the Necroface seem to be programmed to be really aggro, and everybody else is super isolationist. Yeah. Wait, what, why am I... I shouldn't be researching that. I should be researching the increased defense on units. There we go. There's no way we can beat Chaka's ass, right? That 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 thing would whoop any of our armies. Probably. Unless... Hmm. How many spices do you have? 
Let me check. 150. Uh, can you give me 15? Certainly. Luxuries. Spices. 15 of them, you said? Yes. Okay, give me a second to accept that. I feed my Kazar. He is growing stronger. <laughs> Hang on. First, let me test him on the, out on the local lice. It was super effective. Well, actually, Excellent. actually, a remarkable amount of my own lice died, but I don't really care. The lice are expendable. The glory of the Urken is forever. That is true. Uh, my armies that I wanted to cross the river, by the way, wound up running a running afoul of their uh, navy, so that was cool. A singular boarding vessel, by the way, beats eight other units. Impressive. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, Scuba, give me something good. 150 dust, I'll take it. I was hoping uh, nuclear weaponry, but that'll work too. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well that explains it, yeah. The cult has been the one sending the uh, spies to repeatedly fuck me up. Ah! Oh. That just makes sense. By the way, shout out to the fact that once you uproot the Orkin, it can also search through ruins. <laughs> That's awesome. I imagine it just cracks them open and looks inside. I'm kind of astounded that it's intelligent enough to be able to uh, do it and discern what's quality and worth keeping. Yeah. I was you... engaging in diplomacy with the cultists, and I accidentally went to peace with them. I didn't realize that was part of the deal I was making. Oh, that's not great. <laughs> not great, but at least I can get my army across the waters without getting bombarded now. Good yeah? Theory. Well, it's the cultists still. They might bombard you for the sheer hell of it. True. Oh, a Kazanji? Great! The cultists have accidentally built a defensive net around themselves of just untouched lands that are overrun with stupid Kazanji and other bullshit. 
<laughs> okay. Let's see, I should probably be rushing some more. Let's see. Let's not do a dust bishop. No, I've le I've learned my lesson about dust bishops. They're a very cool unit, but not very good against an army that can swarm you in seconds. Yeah. Which I, I should have figured cultists running a pretty well all minor faction army they're going to have some fast units, but eh. I don't know how much damage uh, these cavalry armies I'm building will be able to do. Ooh, plus three food on all terrain, uh, seers or lakes. That'd be great if I wasn't playing as the Broken Lords. <laughs> I don't even think I've got any uh, water tiles to exploit on my end. Uh, I think it's probably time that I go ahead and declare direct war on uh, all the cultists. Because I just can't get around Chaka to even get to his lands in a reasonable way. Though Chaka, I've now noticed, Chaka was kind enough to settle right next to their fucking Tetike village with five Tetikes. So actually, yeah, yeah this has been great. This is fantastic. <laughs> like, it's no wonder the cultists are so fervently religious. They should be thanking God for the many gifts God has given unto them. Yeah. They might actually be believing in the right religion. Every time we go to attack them, something happens. Some divine fucking <laughs> divine intervention. Like Jesus. Well, not like Jesus, actually. Like something much darker. <laughs> I'm going to whoop this Gowron village real quick with Yurk and with... Uh... Kazar, he's still on a test run. <clears throat> oh, parlay. What? <laughs> 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 the fucking Urken. Rolls up. Howdy do. Good evening. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to bribe these guys. It's cheaper. Okay. Now, re earth yourselves, gentlemen. And next turn, I'll be having them dig their way over to the other continent. I have a lot of armies to move. I am sorry. Not a problem. Go over to the cultist continent and go fight some armies in the ruins. Pass. <laughs> okay. Well, the only way I can make progress is to declare war, I think, but I'll wait for my forces to congregate. Oh, excuse me. I've got a place that... Uh... Cavalry, get as much as you can! And also, I'll rush to Central Market. Why the hell not? Oh, a Dusk Eclipse. This is going to get interesting. I like it. Things are about to get weird. I, what do the cultists do during a Dusk Eclipse? Good question. I do not know. I'm worried. Going by how far how things have been going so far, I feel like their Dusk Eclipse is going to be like... Nuke all enemy units and win the game. Yeah.
If anyone declares war on you, they lose three cities from the jump. <laughs> That'll learn them. Oh boy, if the fight was big last time, we are in for quite the fucking, quite the fucking fight. Jesus. Hang on. I wonder, can I hire a hero, equip it, and then put it on an army? You, Specialized Polyp 5X, I choose you. <laughs> My boy. The man. The myth. The legend. Now let's give him a very nice sword. And a very nice shield. Why did he why did he start without a shield? That made no sense. <laughs> you just got a free hand there, man. I, I don't Now let's get some army boosts on him. Army damage boost and armor, army initiative boost. Okay, now can I put him on an army? Oh, I'm going to step out for can... just a minute here. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Put a, Let's get some skills on this boy. Increased defense. Eh. Increased life on units, though. That's quite nice. Okay. We're very close to beginning the actual attack. I doubt it will succeed, but if it can soften him up for pink, then that's mission accomplished. Oh, you know what? I'm going to want to, before the next turn, I'm going to want to move Kazar. Yeah. Ha-ha! This is gonna be a fucking fight. Good lord. Nobody is ready for this. This is gonna be ugly. Like, this is gonna be real fucking ugly. Oh, good lord, I'm not prepared for this. Oh. I okay. We're gonna have to push through and take Chaka, then move on to the city. I do hope the pink has something. Okay, somebody's take. Okay, pink's taken at least some of the Fomorian bases. So that's has that dealt with the dust accu dust accumulator? No, it hasn't. Oof. Okay, we are in T Rebel. I wish, I wish there was some way we could, like, pay the... Like, this, is a, this is a nice thing about Total War, I guess. Total War Warhammer nowadays, at least, is that you can... When the AI's being a little bit too neutral, you can at the very least tell them, Hey, get off your asses and help me here. I hope... Th does this game have a system like that? I hope, I hope to God it does. I'll have to wait until the next turn. Oh boy. Uh. Man, I've really got to piss. Actually, it might be smart to go ahead and end this recording here. At this moment of anticipation and prepare for the next video where it all goes down. I'll see you then, folks.